Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Before you watch the videos, please subscribe us. The Risk V architecture has gradually become the mainstream. Although it is not comparable to the market share of the ARM and x86 architectures, domestic and foreign technology giants have increased their layout. Especially domestic Alibaba, its subsidiary Pingtush Semiconductor has released Risk V related chip products many times. At the 2022 Yunchi conference, Brother Ping Tu brought a new Risk V processor, Xiantai C908. What kind of chip product is this? What will Ali accelerate the Risk V ecological layout? Alibaba releases Risk V chip Xiantai C908. The global mobile terminal architecture is firmly maintained by ARM, and chip design giants such as Qualcomm, Apple, and MediaTek all need to design chips based on the ARM architecture. But most of the giants only use ARM's infrastructure, and the computing core is their own. ARM announced a rule that after 2024, customers will no longer be allowed to use customized computing chips, but only the public version of the ARM-based SoC. This means that third-party integrated chip technologies such as NPU, GPU, and ISP are prohibited from being used. As a result, customers will be greatly restricted from using the ARM architecture in the future, losing the possibility of customizing chips. ARM is doing this to stabilize its position in architecture technology and prevent customers from having the ability to develop their own computing cores, so that more licensing fees can be charged. I don't know if ARM has thought about it, this new regulation will also push customers to other architecture technologies and reduce their dependence on ARM. For example, RISC-V is a big choice and the RISC-V architecture ecology is ushering in the rise. More and more technology companies are beginning to bet on RISC-V, and the ARM architecture may no longer be the only choice. The most in-depth RISC-V layout in China is Alibaba. Those who pay attention will know that Alibaba's Pingchu has deeply cultivated the RISC-V architecture and brought the world's first high-performance RISC-V chip development platform Wujian 600 and released the prototype SoC chip tracer 1520 on this platform. Not only that, Ali Pingchu has built the Xiantai series of chips based on the RISC-V architecture. At the 2022 Yunchi conference, Ali Pingchu brought a new RISC-V chip processor named Xiantai C908. This is the fifth product of Ali's Xiantai series. From the Xiantai 902 in 2018 to the Xiantai 908 in 2022, each generation of chips has a different positioning. For example, the Xiantai 902 released in 2018 is positioned for safety and this year's Xiantai 908 is energy efficiency. In the entire Xiantai RISC-V processor family, Ali is divided into C-series, E-series, and R-series. Among them, the C-series is responsible for AI, vision, and high performance. The E-series is responsible for the microcontrol MCU scene and the R-series is mainly responsible for industrial control and vehicle applications. Now that Alice Pingtu brother's Xiantai family has added another member, the birth of the new Xiantai C908 will provide Ali with high-energy application capabilities. Specifically, this chip product can be used in scenarios such as intelligent interaction and wireless communication. Compared with the previous black iron chips, the C908 achieves a new energy efficiency improvement in the RISC-V architecture, and the architecture features multi-core and multi-cluster, and the energy efficiency ratio is increased by 24%. As an energy efficient chip, the application scenarios of Xiantai C908 must be very rich, and it needs to exert strong energy efficiency in different scenarios and software and hardware platforms. In this regard, 
Ali Pintu has also done a lot of adaptation and compatibility work. At present, it has been adapted to mainstream operating systems such as Android, Linux and Dragon Lizard OS. These adapted operating systems and platforms cover three major areas, cloud, terminal, and edge. This is not only the ecological progress of the Xientai series of chips, but also a major breakthrough in the ecological application of the RISC-V architecture in all scenarios. What will Ali accelerate the RISC-V ecological layout? Alibaba officially announced the good news and released a new RISC-V chip processor, Xientai C908. Judging from the characteristics of this chip, it can be found that Alibaba's layout of the RISC-V architecture has been very in-depth. From the processor to the platform, to the terminal operating system adaptation, it is estimated that there is no more in-depth manufacturer of the RISC-V architecture than Alibaba's development in the world. Moreover, the role of Ali in the layout of RISC-V is not only a developer, but also gradually changed to the identity of a platform supplier. This identity allows Ali to assume the responsibility for the development of RISC-V for domestic chips. So what will Ali accelerate the RISC-V ecological layout? The first is to help domestic manufacturers to accelerate the ecological development of RISC-V. Alibaba's Wujian 600 platform can provide technology for domestic manufacturers to enter the RISC-V architecture. With ready-made platform technology and development tools, domestic manufacturers can develop RISC-V architecture chip products faster, reducing the R&D cycle and risk. Save costs. Secondly, it brings a broad future of new mainstream architecture to domestic chips. The mainstream chip products on the market are mainly based on ARM and x86 architectures. These two architectures dominate the mobile terminal and PC markets respectively. Mobile phone chips are designed based on ARM architecture, while computer chips are based on x86. It is difficult to launch subversive products on other people's architectures, but if you start from the open source and free RISC-V architecture, you can avoid technical limitations. Therefore, Ali's layout of RISC-V can bring a broad future of new mainstream architecture to domestic chips, allowing domestic chips to continue to move forward in a technically controllable architecture. N.I. Guangdang, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, has been recommending the RISC-V architecture. N.I. Guangdang believes that this is a new opportunity for domestic chips, and the layout can be properly focused. The situation is just as N.I. Guangdang wished, Alibaba continues to make breakthroughs in the field of RISC-V architecture, and looks forward to making greater ecological progress in the future. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.